This is one of those deals where I could use a third hand. Hey everybody, Lux into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. If you watch my other channel, you've already seen me play with these a couple of times. And if you watch Anthony Crammon's channel, you've seen him play with this set very recently. Unfortunately, he was extremely underwhelmed by the results. Because of his video, I was motivated once again to pull these paints out, and this time I'm going to use them on a tumbler. And that gets a little tricky because if you paint them on with a paintbrush, they don't do much. That was the problem he was having. Okay, let's try and do like a stripey designed little canvas piece of artwork. Oh, that looks awful. <laughs> Ew, what the hell? It doesn't look like anything. I had high hopes for this, what? The trick to these paints is to mix them together in a confined space with a thick application. So basically you pour them all together and you don't let them go anywhere. And then they just have a party. So that's what we're gonna do. And the way the tumbler portion of things comes into it is I am going to have them have their party on this silicone sheet in a pan. Whatever they do here will eventually dry and become a skin. So I am going to mix these up like crazy and then I'm going to start pouring them. Okay, here is our beautiful PBO Fantasy Paint blob, all dried and off its silicone backing. This is how it looked underneath, more like regular paint, more like acrylic. But this is how it looks on top, and I just, I think this is so cool. So my goal here is to put this on a tumbler, and I will be completely honest with you, I'm a little torn at this point as to what background base color I want the cup to be. My initial reaction was black, which would be this. The other thing I keep wondering about is, how about if I take one of the blues in here and I try and match that? And I think that's awfully pretty also. It certainly brings the blue out more and that's, you know, one of my favorite colors, so. There's that. So I'm gonna ask you, I already know what I'm gonna do to complete the tumbler, but I'm still not 100% sure either one of these is the right choice. So go down to the comment section and let me know which one you would have preferred. But for now, for this, I am going to go with black. I'm gonna offset it with black. I'm not sure Mod Podge will do the trick on this. I mean, it's a glue. I would love to use something like E6000. I need to get it right where I want it for sure. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we're gonna roll it up. This is one of those deals where I could use a third hand. Now 
Okay, I think every part of the actual blob itself is covered by scrunchy and obviously silicone mat pressure. So now I'm gonna put it aside, let everything thoroughly set up, and then we'll unwrap this and we'll see what we get. And we're back. Okay, I, I admit I put this aside for like 24 hours and then totally forgot about it. So it's been more like a week. <laughs> Had a lot of other things going on. So we're gonna take our scrunchies off and see how this looks. That looks pretty cool. It is very lumpy in spots. For you, it was just a few seconds ago. For me, it was like more than a week now, but when I had the paint on here and it was drying, it started contracting a little as it dried and it sort of made a not exactly flat blob of paint anymore. So now we have a not exactly flat blob of paint <laughs> adhered to our tumbler, and that's okay, actually. I mean, I don't mind that. Hopefully you can see some of the lumps of the paint. It adds texture. <laughs> I don't dislike it at all. Is this going to be everybody's cup of tea? No, of course not. Many of my cups are not everybody's cup of tea. So I'll bring you back when it's time to put some resin on the tumbler. <laughs> 